welcome to a brand new nightmare. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. And by the way, I'm not even saying that in a brag. That's the kind of mindset, that's the kind of thinking you need for this country. All right, let's get the show started, shall we? On a clean, moisturized, and primered face, I'm taking a white cream makeup and applying it with a big-ass brush in all of the places that the Trumpster seems to miss or simply avoid when he's slathering on all of that horrible self-tanner. I guess it's about time to flip up that septum ring, and no, I'm not picking my nose. That'll come later. I paint on the upper lip, and as you can see, to paint a godforsaken ugly man, you need to make some godforsaken ugly faces, so here is the necessary force double chin. Now, in addition to his white eyes and mouth, I also use white as my bold highlights, so I'm just finding the various places light seems to bounce off his face the most. The jowls, uh, neck, jawline, the nose, the furrowed brow, uh, the temples, the cheeks, a little bit more in the jowls, and there it is, folks. Did you catch it? I'll slow it down for you. There you go. It's coming, and there it is. The damn my nose got itchy out of nowhere, and I have no shame, so I will not edit that out. Sure, I'm just scratching the inside of my nose, but it's really a lot more fun to make fun of myself for picking it. So you have it. I am a nose picker. Moving on. Now I'm going to look and look and look for my tools and makeup because you had a false expectation of me if you thought I'd be more organized. And there it is. I found a much skinnier brush, and I'm taking a bold orange cream makeup and adding my contour. I start off with the furrowed brow, find his temples, under the lip, scratch a niche, more added to the brows, and into the nose, redefine the furrowed lines, mm -hmm. and continuing the brow into his forehead, digging up into the temples, shaping out the jowls again, the chin, under the lip, creating the illusion of a constant frown cheekbones are coming or really lack thereof in some cases and finishing off the dark, con the dark contour in the upper lip there it is where it'll help look more pouty then i grab what i call my secondary contour color which is a milder orange it's not as dark as a main contour but still pretty orange here I'm just finding all those places that are still shadows of his face, but adding the secondary contour really allows for a smoother blending. Uh, pretty much finding all those places, adding more orange, kind of like double contour almost. All right, so now I'm using my base foundation color, which is the same color I use all the time. It's slightly darker than my natural skin tone, but very similar. I'm literally just taking the makeup and filling in all those leftover spaces. I mapped out all the shapes with the contour and highlight, giving a lot more attention to that process. So this part is kind of like a coloring book, just going crazy, filling in all those places, making sure there are no um, skin without makeup exposed anywhere. All right, so now it's a very important blending. I'm going to speed this up because honestly, no one needs to watch me blend for five minutes. The trick to blending is practice, practice, and you guessed it, practice. I've been painting my face for eight years as Landon, and this is my first tutorial. So don't be disheartened if it takes you a while to master blending, okay? So now I'm so blended. I'm so blended. I look like an orange smoothie. No, it was worth a shot. So now I'm getting all behind because I'm trying to be funny, but I'm just taking a small brush to redefine some of the areas that needed more detailing, including the nose, the chin, right, and the double chin, and those jowls again, under the lip, in the cheeks, corners of the eyes, bringing it down to the nose a little bit. So now I'm setting my face with a neutral setting powder and taking a dry, round, soft brush to remove the excess. 
It's supposed to be a transparent setting powder, but no matter what, it's going to mute some of your colors and bring out a little bit of white. So this is where my powder shadows take over. I'm pretty much just going back into all those places that I painted with the cream makeup, but because the powder mutes it a bit, I'm bringing it back to life. So it's kind of like painting your face all over again, but this time with shadows. All right, so now I have a medium brown shadow and starting with my eyes, I'm adding some extreme contour areas and sort of blending as I go along. So you see I grab my, my heavier, thicker brush and I blend it out those sharper lines that I just gave with my skinnier brush. Then I go back and take time to fine tune the details in my nose, right around the nostrils and blend it out as I go. Now this is where I start to draw in the bags under my eyes. I take the sharp end of the brush to do the line and then I kind of change the angle so that it becomes also its own blender brush. Now I really want to make these contours and these shapes pop. So in order to do that, I'm going in with some loose white powder and attacking all of these white zone areas again. I started with my brows down into the bags under my eyes, the pop of highlight that's just under the bags, the outer jawline, the lips, the nose, the brow, and now the same on the other side. As I do this, please, please excuse my camera for constantly refocusing and trying to catch up with the color changes. I don't quite have the equipment yet to make flawless tutorials, so I gotta work with what I got. And frankly, you're watching this for free, so you don't really have any room to complain now, do you? Yeah, I can be a dick. So I'm starting to do some fine tuning with a tiny brush. You may notice that I keep looking down. This is due to the reference photo I have open in front of me, just out of camera view. Uh, Trump Meister here makes that grumpy face so often, it's only necessary to make that same face from time to time to make sure you're still in the right direction. Now I'm going in with a teeny tiny brush and doing some eyeliner and adding the wrinkles. Now I found my basic brown shadow and now I'm finding his eyebrow shape. I'm keeping them really light because um, his are really fair and you can really barely see them sometimes. So after I'm happy with their placement and now I'm Topping them off with really short strokes of white for detail. Just individual little hairs, kind of adding all around each eyebrow, redefining the shape. Now I'm painting the lips. When I'm painting the lips, I know I'm almost done with the face. This is mainly for the simple reason that I like to talk, drink, eat, etc. I don't want to mess up my lips. Simple enough explanation, right? I thought so too. Even with the lips, I add contour and highlight to their, bring them to a three-dimensional life as well. So now I'm popping in my contacts, and when I put my contacts in, really change depending on the circumstances around the style lens, the style of makeup, or since I'm a full-time performer, if it's during the middle of a show. As you can see, I've started changing into my costume and wig. Please forgive my orange ring around the collar. When I filmed this, I was performing him a lot that week, and it's pretty crazy of you to think I'm going to scrub that collar after every performance, so sorry, not sorry. Now I'm putting on that jacket, and here are some stereotypical Trump mannerisms and a not-so-traditional Trump hat. And yes, I did paint that myself. Uh, hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my very first makeup tutorial on my brand new YouTube channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the shenanigans that YouTubers ask you to do. Filming, editing, and narrating these videos take a lot of work and time. I have plenty of other faces to paint and walk you through, but I need to know you guys are watching and want to actually see more. So your subscriptions and likes and comments, etc. are how I know that. And again, I apologize again and again and again for my camera auto-correcting the light way more than I'd like. But until I can afford some better equipment, you're going to have to bear with me. And I appreciate your patience until I can upgrade. Now, since this is my very first video, let me know what you think. Comment on the things you liked, the things you didn't like, and any suggestions you have. I have some more faces already filmed and I'm already editing them. But what characters that I perform do you want to see in a tutorial? I repeat characters that I already perform. Eventually I'll expand it to new ones because I'm always adding to my repertoire, but I gotta work with what I got for now. And I think my repertoire is pretty strong, so it's not like you don't already have plenty of options. Thanks again, YouTube. I'll see you soon. And remember, kings can reign just as fierce as queens, and it's up to you, all you kings and all you king supporters, to help me prove that in a community near you. So just to finish off, because a lot of people think that I will be the greatest that God ever created, believe me, I'll be great. 
USA, USA, USA. Wow. Everybody loves me. Bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong. Thank you very much.